Not so yet, we can show it for you. Sorry, Mario Violin here, lock number 38. I have to borrow a violin in order to be able to be a violinist. And that means I need someone that is very rich <laughs> to be able to lend it to me. Well, the first thing you did in the old days was you married some rich person. But I have noticed that um, I think the rich spouses are very hard to find these days. One thing has changed dramatically that a young musician hardly ever can hope to afford a big instrument. I think if I were starting out now, starting my career, trying to buy an instrument like this would be impossible. What for me on the table is just one violin next to another and I like that one more means the difference between £100,000 and £3 million. Whereas, you know, it's just a violin. These violins are not immortal. They are started out being 1,200 Stradivari instruments. They say between five and 600 now exist. Something happened to half of them already. There really hasn't been a period of time where violins have declined in value. And a lot of people do feel, with China opening up in other markets, that um, the rate that they will increase um, may, may actually uh, step up from here. The importation is non-stop. Every week, we buy and buy. If you don't buy this year, next year you should pay more to buy. So we keep buying all the time. If you buy an instrument for some of the prices that are now being quoted, ridiculous. There's one Del Jesu with something like 16 million pounds for the violin. These violins are going that way. I think they're going in institutional hands. If a violin ends up in a museum and it's not played at all, I would say that's the equivalent of taking the Mona Lisa and putting it in a closet where you can't see it at all because the violin's beauty comes out when you play on it. Despite all the enormous difficulties of trying to obtain the use of a nice instrument and of course the prohibitive cost, the sound is just magic. I guess it's just every man for himself. <laughs> I have to just try my best to get my hands on a good instrument and, um, and hope that it's a good instrument that I love.